Hi, I'm Lily Tatalia Autos and in today's video I'm going to show you how to change a rear wheel bearing on a GTV 916 Spider or Alpha 145-146. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward job, there's no bearings to press in or anything like that, so uh, here you go. Please uh, comment, like and subscribe and if you find this video useful, please share it on the forum so uh, other people can uh, use it too. Okay, first job we need to do is remove the brake caliper and the brake disc. I have already loosened the bolts. If you want to see a guide on doing the brake uh, pads, I will stick a, a link in in the top now. Pop your pads to one side so they don't fall on the floor. Let's remove the disc. Like so. Now you've got access to the wheel bearing. We need to remove this cover here now and there's going to be a big nut the other side we need to undo the nut. Just remove it bit by bit all the way around the outside just so you don't uh, bend it or make it out of shape. Now it's a 32mm socket. I use my impact gun to get this off. There is a washer in there as well. Now your wheel hub is free to come off. Sometimes they can get a little bit stuck, so you will need to use a hub puller on them. But this one is fairly simple to get out. Now inside there you can see the wheel bearings, and I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's a lot of play in there. So those wheel bearings are absolutely shot. Now you want to just put some grease on the hub, just so it will go on nice and easily, and not get caught on anything. Okay, so new bearing will just slide on, hopefully. Put your washer back in. And you've got a brand new nut. Some of the cheaper branded wheel bearings, you won't get a new one of these, so you might have to reuse your old cover. Now re-tighten this up, but don't do it overly tight because you do need to torque it up. Just reached home now. Tap it all the way around gently, just so you can get it to locate nice and centrally. And there we go, make sure that's all nice and free, no odd noises. And now we can put it back together now. While you're putting the brakes back together, it's worthwhile just giving everything a check, make sure everything's nice and free.
And there we go, uh, job done. Just make sure everything spins freely again and there's no odd noises anywhere. Make sure your brake stone guard isn't touching. And there you go, that's uh, another job done. As you can see, it's a very straightforward job. It's not as difficult as a lot of wheel bearings are because you do need to uh, press them in or press them out on a lot of cars. These are really cheap and simple and an easy DIY job at home. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.